Hey guys, so I'm at my parents' house and I'm gonna be uninstalling this old ass dishwasher because I've got a new one coming in tomorrow and they're gonna haul off this old one for me. So I wanna get it out of here and then be ready to receive that new one right away and install it because I have a 48 hour window to get it in, test it, make sure everything's all right. So today we're gonna be working on getting this out. I'm gonna show you how we go about that. And then when I get the new one in tomorrow, we'll show you that process too. Okay, I'm gonna start by turning off both of the water connections, the hot and the cold. Next, I'm going to undo the water line right here, which runs to the dishwasher. All right, my next step is I'm going to disconnect the hose that goes to the actual garbage grinder here underneath the sink. So this is gonna be really simple. Just got a hose clamp here, I'm gonna loosen it up, and then pull it off. Okay, all my connections under the sink are now done. I've got no electrical back there that I can disconnect at this time. So I'm moving down to the toe kick underneath the dishwasher, and I've got two Phillips head screws that I need to undo to be able to remove this panel and get access underneath. And it is dirty underneath there. Okay, so my next step would typically be disconnecting the power, but I do not have uh, power access under the sink here. There's no outlet and it wasn't plugged in there. And based off of what I've seen underneath the dishwasher itself, the power cord for the dishwasher and the garbage disposal run somewhere behind the dishwasher. So I cannot unplug them first. So what I did is I went out to the breaker and I turned the power off to both these devices since they're on the same circuit. And I've already checked to make sure the power is still off. So I'm now safe to mess with anything electrical. Now I don't need to touch any of the electrical wiring underneath here, but I do need to pull the dishwasher out. And then once I have it out far enough that I can access the cord, I can unplug it. And then I should be completely free from anything else that it's attached to. Now to continue on, what I need to do at this point is I need to unscrew the dishwasher from the actual cabinet. So I'm gonna open the, the dishwasher door and typically your dishwasher will be screwed into the sides of cabinets or in the top. In this case, it's into the top. So I'm gonna undo these screws, get it free from the brackets, and then I should be able to pull out the dishwasher. Okay, at this point, dishwasher should be free, so I'm gonna to attempt to remove it. Okay, my issue is I'm being held up because it has a fixed copper line running from underneath the dishwasher to the water pipe. Now, you saw me disconnect that earlier. So um, I might have to get underneath dishwasher and actually disconnect it from the bottom of the dishwasher. I'm gonna see if I can try to feed it through though because they cut a pretty big hole in the cabinet. I'm gonna have to disconnect it and it is connected to dishwasher right here. And then that should free up the dishwasher completely. Okay, so minor little setback won't be a big deal in the long run, but this is not plugged in, it is hardwired in. Um, the fact that there was no plug to access underneath the sink, and then once I get, managed to get it out all the way, there was no actual plug-in to an outlet or anything directly behind the unit, and I was able to trace the fact that the actual hard line right here at the front bottom goes up under the actual cabinet base, so I can't access it behind there. So I'm gonna have to undo it um, right here, and that won't be a big deal, but just so you know, if you ever do your dishwasher, you're gonna have a hard line in, or you're gonna have a plug in, and depending on which one, you may not know for sure until you actually get it out of there. So again, just make sure you're turning off the breaker before you uh, pull it out, if you're not able to unplug it first. Okay, so I've now separated my wires. I have the hot, neutral, and ground to the actual machine, and then I have the ones coming in on the hard line right here. 
and they just had a cable clamp and a lock nut to hold it to here. And I've undone that, so this is now free. This will stay here on the floor, and I will drag out the rest of the unit and get it out of the way. All right, the dishwasher is finally out. Um, I do need to do some cleanup. It's pretty gross in here, so, but I'm all done for today. Just need to wait for the new dishwasher to arrive tomorrow, and then we'll go ahead and go through the install. It's pretty much going to be reverse of what we did today. All right guys, the dishwasher is finally here and unfortunately this is not the next day. This is actually over a week later. They were late in delivering, so I ended up having to do a different project instead. Make sure to check out my sink install video, which had to be released instead of my dishwasher install video. But let's go ahead and finish the dishwasher now. Step one is to actually install the dishwasher handle, but before we do that, there is some prep work. If you're going to install your dishwasher, make sure you've already prepped your water line and your electrical line. Now, if you're going to be plugging into an outlet, then there's nothing really to prep. In this case, I am not plugging into an outlet. I'm going to leave it hardlined because I would have gone back and buy a separate power line for this, and I didn't want to do that. The water line I ended up buying separately. Um, I bought a five-foot line, and I've already run that, attached it to my valve underneath my sink, and I've run that through the cabinet base. So I'm all set there. But make sure you do that first. The last thing you want to do is get this thing three quarters of the way into the cabinet and realize that you can't reach your water line because you didn't attach it first. So right now, we're just going to go ahead and touch the handle. If your dishwasher doesn't have a handle, then this is a step that you won't have to worry about. For me, this is pretty simple. Just got an Allen key that comes with and just put the handle on, screw it side down, and just tighten them up. All right, the next step is to check your door mounts. You're primarily looking to see if it opens and closes smoothly. Now, you can follow the instructions, and I will say that within 20 degrees, it should close on its own. Anything past 20 to 70, it should stay open. And then beyond 70 degrees, it should fall. Now, my 70 degrees, it doesn't fall on its own. I think that's primarily just because the springs are brand new, so it's still pretty stiff. And then this door doesn't really have a lot of weight to pull it down. But it does open and close perfectly fine. It's very smooth, and there's no issues there. Now, if you did have issues, your only time to adjust it and do anything about it is right now while it's still out so that you can get to the springs and the pulley system. So everything's good on mine. I'm ready to move on. The next step... Close it carefully, pull it out far enough away, essentially in line with your opening, and we're gonna lay it on its back. We need to access underneath so I can detach the wood shipping panel that comes on. Okay, I don't have a 15, 16 socket on hand to undo these, so I'm just gonna improvise here. We just want to unscrew these so we can get the wood laid off. Okay, with the wood shipping base removed, I now have to reinstall these because they are the leveling legs and you want to leave about a half inch of thread remaining when you put them back in. Next step is to take a guard hose thread 90 degree elbow and to install it right here. <clears throat> now, when I finish, I want it to be pointing towards the back of the dishwasher. So I've already applied some plumber's tape. I'm gonna screw this on here and we can't overdo this. This is a plastic piece here that it's threading onto. And that's it. Okay, my next step is to detach my drain hose from its position on the side of the dishwasher and feed it through my cabinet base into my sink base so that I can hook it up once everything is positioned. I don't need more than that, so I'm going to reattach right there and reattach it right there. And I have more than enough inside the cabinet for now. Okay, we're now we're ready. Okay, next step it will be to actually push the dishwasher into the opening, but you don't want to go all the way in. You only want to go until you have about six inches left of the dishwasher exposed. Also be aware that you can still need to access your water and your power lines. So 
have those, I've got these tucked underneath right now so I can grab them, they won't get pulled back hopefully. And then be aware of your drain line, make sure you're not kinking it in the process. Oh, and make sure you got your insulation on top because the last thing you wanna do is get it seated in there and you forgot to put the insulation back on top and now you're gonna have to pull it back out. Go ahead and push it in by using the sides, not the top. And that's about six inches. I can still access my lines. That's good. No kinks in my drain line. So everything's good. Now what I need to do is to install my mounting brackets. So for these, I'm gonna be going through the top because I've got wood here that I can actually screw into. Whereas if I go through the sides, I'd be going into my cabinet bases and they're not particularly sturdy. If you have better quality cabinets or maybe a different type of countertop where you can't screw into your countertop, so you have to screw into your cabinets, then you can use the side mounting. For me, top is what it's gonna be. After you get your mounting brackets in, go ahead and push the dishwasher the rest of the way in and then check to make sure that it's level left and right and front and back. So it's pretty level. And that's pretty good as well. So from here, you can go ahead and secure your brackets to the underside or to the sides of your cabinets, one of the two. dishwasher to your cabinet go ahead and put in your plug buttons these are here to ensure that the door to tub alignment is proper and stays in place you got one on each side uh, next go ahead and connect your water line to your 90 degree elbow which you installed earlier and then if you're doing a hard line of electrical into the actual unit you will feed it through right back here and then you'll have your hot neutral and ground wires hanging right here and you'll connect them and then cover them with this electrical box when you're done. I would have shown that but it was extremely difficult working down here and there was just no room for the camera to see what I was doing in the process so sorry I wasn't able to show that part of the process but this is where you're going to do your connections cover it up secure your box and you're good to go down below and now we can go hook up our drain hose. Okay with my electrical and water connections now finished I'm going to attach my drain. Since I'm going to be going directly to my garbage disposal, I'm going to connect it right there. Some people might be connecting theirs to their actual sink drain, which is perfectly acceptable, in which case you will attach it to the piping. Okay, last step, install your tow kit. That's it, the dishwasher is fully installed. I have some more projects I intend to do in this kitchen, so stick around. We'll see you next time on the DIY Run.